Chargers, 53 man roster, right? 53 guys. You like that? You like that 53 that Mike McCoy picked? That's what's gonna happen to them. Not all of them, of course, but don't get too comfortable with that roster, all right? There's a lot of problems with this team. There's a lot of positions that need depth. Really, the whole roster needs depth. But some of those guys that made it, I'm sure that they know this as well, they're hanging by a thread right now. And they're just gonna be kinda either pushed out, hopefully put on the practice squad if they're eligible. Um, that's probably gonna happen within the next week because there's no way the Chargers can afford to keep some of these guys with all of their needs, all right? So let's go through a few notable things. Obviously, obviously, let's start with the first. See that, see that guy? Meacham, Meacham, cut. I have to tell you, I, I mean, we could see the writing on the wall. I could see the writing on the wall as the preseason went on. But before the season started, I was one of those that was like, oh, no, no, no. They're not going to cut Robert Meacham. He's guaranteed $5 million this year. They're not going to cut Robert Meacham. All right? And they cut Robert Meacham. So it goes to show you how much I know. I understand why they had to cut Robert Meacham. At the same time, I just... It still leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I know that a lot of you guys are the fans are like, yeah, Robert Meacham was cut. But it should still sort of leave a bad taste in your mouth. And I know that it's not the new regime's fault. I know that AJ Smith brought him in here, but it's still $5 million that they don't have. It's still money next year in 2014. Really, the whole Jared Gaither, Robert Meacham thing isn't going to be gone until 2015. I also think he had some chemistry with Charlie Whitehurst. and. I don't know what that says, if anything, but I think the two of them were able to connect more, get on the same page more, and, and I think he felt better when Charlie was throwing to him. And so I kind of wonder, well, is it just, you know, did you and Philip get on the wrong foot and just never, could, you know, Robert Meacham is a very intellectual guy, as, as in very deep thinker, he, and he'll tell you that. He overanalyzes stuff to death. So maybe that got in his head and he could just never thrive, but that's just me being a psychologist as a, Someone I, I trust dearly with Chargers News told me today, he just sucks. Three undrafted rookies this season. Kwame Gathers, all right, defensive line. One of those guys, and I'm glad that he made it. He really came into this camp um, under Don Johnson, working with Cam Thomas on the D-line. All high praise from the coaches and the staff on Kwame Gathers. So I'm excited to see him make the team. Jaleel Adai, safety Jaleel Adai, he kind of was a fan favorite. Had a good camp. He also allowed those two punts to be blocked. Um, and that last one where Mike Cypher is almost, you know, we, we weren't even sure if he was ever gonna walk again. Um, that was all on Jalila Dye. So something's gonna have to happen there on special teams or this guy's not gonna make it. He's, he's not gonna last. Um, and Brandon Moore. Now Brandon Moore is a defensive end. And the only reason I think they're keeping Brandon Moore is because D'Amik Scafe, who is depth on the D-line that they sorely need, he's in a walking boot and I don't think he's ready, gonna be ready for week one. I don't even know if he's gonna be ready for week two or three. Okay, wide receiver. Look, I love, you know, I love these guys. They catch the ball, the balls come in the air, they catch them, the wide receivers. Vincent Brown, Shea Tutu. I'm, I will speak highly of those guys all day. I still think it's a problem. I know that Phillip Rivers has the tight ends to go to as well, and they're good. Antonio Gates, come on. John Phillips, Ladarius Green had a fantastic camp this season, a fantastic preseason. But I still just have a, a weird feeling in my stomach that this wide receiver core is just not enough. I, I, Philip has already gone on record saying he needs to do a better job of trusting his receivers. And I just don't know that he trusts these guys that much. Kept three quarterbacks. Brad Sorensen remains on the roster along with Charlie Whitehurst. Now this is the first time the Chargers have kept three quarterbacks on their roster since 2010. McCoy, I think, you know, he really likes Brad Sorensen. Well, he doesn't talk in cliches when he talks about Brad Sorensen. So I take it that he likes him. All right, the fan favorite, Fozzie Whitaker. He made the roster and he should have. The team's leading rusher in the preseason and I like this guy. His feet are always moving. He seems very confident. He's able to cut, he finds that hole and it just seems like he's not gonna quit. He fights for those yards, but he's smart about it. All right, it's been fun talking to you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them underneath the video. I will get back to you.